Okay, this is a video on the repair of a Kenmore dishwasher that won't drain, the water won't go out. Now, just a quick overview, I made the first video. I, uh, I checked, I pulled that up, the arms, and I checked underneath, and in my case, that was all clean. Uh, we clean the dishes before we put them in, so it's very unlikely that that would cause a clog. And even then, usually, it would drain slowly as opposed to just stop completely. All right, and before you take this out and try to troubleshoot it, the first thing you want to do is kill the electric to the unit, which I did. Second, very important, is to release the uh, is to release the pipe that feeds the dishwasher with water. Now it was connected right here, okay, which I disconnected with a 5 8 wrench. So first kill the electric, then you want to pull that nut off with a wrench and get rid of the water supply to the unit. Now there might be a little water drainage, so have some towels ready. Okay. Third, there's two screws above on the top of the unit here. Okay, release those two screws and then your unit will pull out very easily. Alright. Just like that. Okay, now this here, this here is what I was talking about. Alright, this water feeds it, so you gotta get a wrench and you gotta disconnect this before you pull the unit out. Alright, now this fell apart here, but here's what I'm gonna show you. Okay. Now the drain here connects like that. Alright, so you want to get a pair of pliers. You want to release this. You want to pull the drain out. Okay, in my case, the water came out of here, which means that there's no clog inside the dishwasher. So now, I've narrowed it down to two possible things. It could be the motor that drains the water out, or this tube here could be clogged. Alright, now that tube, which the water drains from the unit, and it drains into, in our case, we have a disposal. Alright, and that drains right up here. Okay? So you have a tension uh, seal right here. So you want to get a screwdriver and you want to release that. And if you do that, you can pull this tube out. Alright, because you want to check if this is clogged. Sometimes food will get in there. Uh, sometimes glass, but that'll usually usually be stopped inside the machine. However, note that with these dishwashers, the chemicals that go to the plates and they get rid of all the bacteria, they kill the bacteria, they get rid of all the food and stuff like that. That has a tendency over time to cause a blockage in this hose. Okay, just like you have a blockage of atherosclerosis in an artery. It builds up over time. These chemicals, they bind to this, the walls of the drain and they accumulate. So you want to take this out. Okay. You want to get this out. It's not coming from a blockage, an accumulation of flu uh, food inside the dishwasher. Then this is your next step. You got to pull the unit out, and you got to check this hose. My case, I blow through here, I get nothing. Okay, right here, you can see the blockage. All right, and eventually it closed up, and now there was absolutely no drainage of water from the machine. So I'm going to go in there and. Actually, instead of going in there and, and removing it, I'm just going to go out and get a new tube uh, so there won't be any pre-existing accumulation on the side of the walls and I'll get a life, uh, longer life expectancy on the drainage. But that was the cause for my wash, my dishwasher to not drain and accumulate water. Alright, I'm going to fix that, put that back together. I'll put the unit back in. But make sure you kill the electric you get rid of the water, you release that nut, so you get rid of the water supply. All right, But you got to turn off the water too, which I covered in my first video. Turn off the water, release, 
the water supply through a 5 8 wrench and then you can check the cable if it's not the cable then you gotta look into the motor on the dishwasher and see if that's actually working uh, if that's working too there's also a valve inside the hose that you gotta check but that's usually not the cause alright any questions uh, just email me you can email me at bre n n m 5 at yahoo.com uh, just in case you didn't get what I was doing and you have any questions, I could try to help you troubleshoot it. Thank you.